I'm here at mom's house. Grass is about five inches tall. I have to mow it, first mow of the season. I'm not looking forward to it. It looks higher back here and more lush. There's weeds. Oh man, oh man, I hate this. I noticed that one little worn spot on the wheel, the bees have been going in and out of there putting pollen in there. The wood bees. I think they're it's like they're using it as a storehouse for when they may build their nests in the wood beams of the house. Can you see where I cut already? I still have the rest of the backyard. I'm out of breath. It's a little baby robin egg. Except I think it's cracked. So I think he's he's a goner. So tiny. Small as my thumbnail. This is a flower that was growing back by my fence. I don't know, it might be canola. Does anybody know? It's pretty. And its stems are like hollow. Weird, huh? Yeah, I needed this old door to roll the lawnmower up in the car. And I put this piece of canvas in there so I can shake all the crap out. And he's been a good boy. I had the music on for him while I was gone. And he's really tired now. Sons vestiti. Solo mutanda. Which means I don't have clothes on, just my underwear. Nur mein Unterhosen und Bustenhalter. Oh, I, boy, oh boy, I wore myself out today, I tell ya. I went over to Mom's with the lawnmower, and it was supposed to rain. And it started getting cloudy and started sprinkling a little bit. But I got the front yard done. I had to stop every 15 minutes for water and just sit down for five minutes. Wow. And I got half of the backyard done and the lawnmower just decided it was not going to run anymore. So there's another lawnmower that I left over there. Um, it's in the garage over there. But I had to turn the circuit breaker off to the garage because it's hooked into the... Uh, security alarm siren there was I don't know when it was last year or something they had turned the electricity off for non-payment then they turned it back on I, I was supposed to turn all the breakers off for them to turn it back on and put them back on one at a time well the um <clears throat> that particular breaker that opens the garage the electric garage door opener is on the siren and I've called ADT and I said, look, uh, we don't have the service anymore. How do you get this thing disconnected? And she was trying to tell me. She's always oh, about the size of a pack of cards. It's blue and it's here and there and you do this and you do that. Mom's system isn't like that. I think it's a lot older. So I don't know what to do. But the circuit's off. So I had to disengage the automatic garage door opener from the door and lift that heavy sucker oh my god that sucker if it fell on you would kill you then I took that lawnmower out put a little gas in it and pulled and pulled and pulled wouldn't start it would not start so neither one of them work I got kinda of pissed off put it back in the garage closed everything up at mom's locked everything up Loaded up my lawnmower, came home, and then uh, I took off to the store because I was out of coffee. I take precautions. I wear a mask, and I'm always, you know, keeping my hands clean and everything. And where I went had the Kicking Horse Coffee. You can buy it online or in Canada or at this one Deerberg store in Florissant. Who knew? How weird, there's only one place in the United States you can get it, and it's five miles away from where I live. <sighs> Maybe less. So I got that, and I stopped by the bakery, and I got a loaf of bread 
until I can make some. I also found some flour. It was hard to find flour. I had to go to two different stores to find flour to bake with. There's no paper products on any of the shelves. Toilet paper, napkins, paper towels, nothing. Nothing. Still. I don't need it right now, but there's still nothing. And, uh, I don't know, man. Some places tell you only to go, you know, so many at a time, but that's fine. I stopped by a produce market. It's local people, and I want to promote local businesses. I want to, you know, help them. So I bought some broccoli and some apples. What else? Broccoli, apples. I don't know. Some, oh, cantaloupe. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's a really good, refreshing thing. Oh, my back's killing me. Way up here. Up here. Oh, ow. I feel like I've been rowing upstream, you know? Rowing a boat. Oh, my God. Anyway, how long have I been jabbering? Too long, right? Oh, over four minutes. Let me make this quick. I have enough here for 30 masks. I also cut up some elastic in six and a half inch pieces that'll go around the ear to the mask. I just have to, and I preliminary, preliminarily basted these things so it's ready to go through the machine. I'll be doing that tomorrow. My brother's anniversary is Thursday. I have to mail his card off tomorrow. Scott's is next week. I will mail his card off because he's in ca Canada and it takes a lot longer to get up there. My cousin Sandy sent me some email, some recipes. One that I've been wanting for a long time. My Aunt Shirley used to make this really good ginger cake. You want to eat the whole thing, but if you do, then it sends you right to the bathroom. But, uh, that, and then I had I have a couple recipes I'm going to send her, except she doesn't have a computer at home. She has a phone that she messages on. So I said, I'll just mail them in the mail for you. And, uh, boop, boop, boop. yeah, this place is just a total disaster. One room at a time, I guess. Kitchen's okay right now. I cleaned that all up yesterday. And, uh, I don't know. Gotta straighten up this again. <laughs> and everything. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> I even missed watching Stefan Bucher uh, drawing monsters today. I don't like missing them. So, ow, oh, golly Moses. There was this guy, he was parachuting, and he jumped out of the plane and his parachute was malfunctioning. And he's pulling at it and pulling at it as he's falling to earth. All of a sudden he meets this guy coming up the other way. And the parachutist yells at him, hey, you know anything about untangling a parachute? And the other guy says, no, do you know anything about gas ovens? <laughs> Upward and onward. <laughs>